Hi guys, Jenna here, and this is my dog, Celise, and I had to bribe her to do this video. <laughs> so I adopted Celise when she was a puppy and I was building this tiny house, so she really hasn't known much else besides living in a small space. And she gets excited every time we come to the tiny house, so I know that she really feels at home here. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I designed the space for her as well as for me. For instance, I put a tub in my shower, a tiny tub, just so that I could give Celise baths. I also made sure that she could climb the stairs and join me in the loft at night. And this is all relevant because the tiny tour that I'm showing you guys today involves a couple that has not just one pet in their tiny space, but five. I think it's really interesting how they designed the space around their animals and how their lives are affected every day by living in a tiny space with their furry friends. We are Adam and Rachel and we live in a school bus named Luna. Really what made us push towards living more of a tiny minimalistic lifestyle in general was just trying to simplify life. I've ran a home theater installation business for the last nine years, five years into it. I finally realized that it just was a job that wasn't fulfilling me as much anymore. The answer of, well, how do we do something different? You change your bills and you change your lifestyle and that's really where bus life came in. I think we've discovered bus life, tiny life together. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but I think we just both decided it was probably what was best for us. It was gonna be chapter two of our life together. We finally landed on a bus just because we were able to combine the house and the vehicle all in one. We have four, now five, I guess, animals. We are choosing this life, they aren't, and so it was really important to us to build a space that they would also be comfortable in, and that's why we ended up with carpet, and we have a cat tree. They're coming along on this ride with us, and we want to make sure they're as comfortable as possible and that they can also live their best bus life. <laughs> The whole build process on the bus took about 11 months from start to finish. My initial plan was to have it done in six months. Oh, it did take us twice as long to do it. It's a bus. You're dealing with curved roofs. Nothing's square. You're having to custom make everything. It was a massive process to try and figure out everything, but I think by planning with what the animals needed first and then fitting ourselves in after the fact, was really why we came up with the floor plan that we did. To overall spend about $30,000 on our entire house, I don't know of anywhere that you can spend 30 grand and get your whole house and something to move it with. Come on inside Luna and take a look. So welcome inside Luna. This is our front entry area slash my office. In our last house, I had a detached shop and I wanted to kind of give myself a similar semblance of having my own space. So that's really what the front driver's area has turned into. This couch is basically where Oakley and Rachel sit while we're driving down the road. I'm 100% driver. Like every good tiny house, you need massive amounts of storage. So the back part of the couch is where all of our odds and ends, extra propane bottles for cooking, as well as our 12 volts fuse block is back there as well. So in this front entry area, we wanted to treat it kind of like a mudroom. So we have coat hanger just inside the door and then we have our shoe compartments and we don't track any dirt back into the bus. This has been probably one of my favorite vehicles to drive. Also, the purchasing experience that we had from Northwest Bus Sales was the best experience of any vehicle we've ever purchased. They were really, really nice and took very good care of us when we got Luna. I did replace the driver's seat because the one that came with it was just disintegrating and falling apart. And then I just modified the bracket to be able to attach to the stock air ride seat. So I still have all of my air ride and can bounce up and down as we're driving down the road. 
lights. We repurposed some of the original lighting fixtures as well as the lighting switch. So I did switch these to LED bulbs so they're much more efficient than the original halogens, but why spend extra money on stuff if it's already present in the bus? So over onto this side, this is my standing desk and this is where I work on photo editing, video editing for our Instagram and YouTube channel, Soulful Bus Life. And this was a toolbox that I already previously had. I really didn't wanna build more cabinets after already building a bunch of cabinets for in the kitchen. So I repurposed my toolbox. We can lock it so that all of my storage is locked as we're going down the road and nothing's gonna come flying out. One of our favorite features of the bus is the tongue and groove ceiling, and that continues all the way back through the bus. This is our composting toilet area. We decided to build our own composting toilet and then as we come to this side, this is my closet. We did do a separate his and hers closet. So Rachel has a little bit more space than I do. In this compartment underneath is our 200 amp hour, 24 volt battery bank. And in the back of the closet is our 24 volt to 12 volt down converter. We are totally off grid. We are powered by 1060 watts of solar panels. We have a 3000 watt Victron energy inverter so we can charge our battery bank off of shore power or use using our portable generator. So here in the Pacific Northwest, it gets cloudy a lot. It's just not sufficient enough production from our solar system to keep our batteries charged. So we needed to make sure that we had an additional source to be able to keep us electrified. This is Rachel's closet. And like I said, she just has a little bit more space. There's no batteries or anything. So for her, it literally is just all closet storage. And then across from that, it goes into our shower. We can crack this skylight when we're taking a shower and it allows all of the hot steam to just rise out. And the other thing that we did is when we designed the shower, we designed it around being able to open the window so you can have a breeze going through. Or if you're in beautiful areas with a great view, why not have a shower with a view? We keep our dog dish in the bottom of the shower. Oakley, she drools. This is a great place that keeps all of that water confined within the shower tub instead of on the floor. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the bus. We have our wood stove here. It's an Aneve wood stove and we just installed it recently. It's kept us really warm. These couple of chilly mornings that we've had pet food containers and cat litter and stuff right underneath it in these bins. And then the litter box is just back behind these. So there's just a little hallway there and the cat can go back and get into her litter area. So across from the wood stove is where we have our sink. We didn't want one of those tiny sinks because we do cook a lot. So I wanted to be able to actually do the dishes effectively. So we've got our kitchen sink and a really big counter space next to it for when we are doing the dishes. All of our doors are just framed out and then we use some fencing that we had from our old house and a tapestry that we also already had and we kind of cut it up and used it as our covering. We also have a large refrigerator. It's just kind of a standard residential refrigerator. We have this really long counter space. We always kind of joke that we actually have more counter space in the bus than we did in our house that we sold. So we're not really lacking for prep space when we're doing any cooking or baking projects or anything like that. We went for the Camp Chef portable oven, which we are really loving. It has two burners on top. This is what we use kind of for our everyday meals or when Adam's making his tea or something like that. They're both propane and we just refill the small cans. We added these cabinets this summer. It used to be a shelf here, but the shelf really wasn't functional in terms of storage. It keeps everything locked in place when we're going down the road, which is really great. Across from that big countertop is where we have our dinette table. The dinette seats have really great storage that Adam created for them. So on both sides, it's the exact same thing, but these pop open and it's got storage all the way this length of these counters. The back opens up here and then both the seats lift up and have more storage. So down here, we've earned ourselves the nickname of the bunny bus because we do share our home with two wonderful bunnies. They basically have this whole stretch of underneath the cabinet. So they have one really long bunny hutch. The bunnies are actually litter box trained. Rabbits are easy to litter box train. They can use a litter box the same way as a cat would. 
15 minutes of work in the morning and we can get their hutch vacuumed and their litter box changed, get their cat litter box changed, run the vacuum through the bus and we're done for the day. Everybody has a clean space and our bus stays clean and doesn't smell like dirty litter box or animals. We've got our TV. We are kind of movie night people. I really enjoy movie night or sometimes a good Netflix binge. And when we have our movie nights, it basically just swings and we can kind of make ourselves a cozy little nest. It's very secure and we don't have any issues with it. We've got two in-wall speakers right here on either side so that when we are watching movies, we have nice sound coming at us. Sybil being just about a year old, she's got a lot of energy and so we wanted to have kind of a fun space for her to play on. So Adam actually built this, it's her little like treehouse space. Typically this window is open and Sybil can sit here and she loves having that view. So this is like a favorite space for her. We actually just got a second cat. Hopefully she'll also enjoy this little tree house and her big sister will play with her. I think they'll have a lot of fun together and it's nice to make sure Sybil's got a companion to kind of continue living all the years that she hopefully has ahead of her. We've always had a king size bed because we've always had multiple animals sleeping with us. So it ended up fitting this space perfectly. I'm really big on books. It's one of the things that I'm not very good at minimizing. So we have a nice bookshelf here. Adam's really decorated it with some extra plants. So our bed lifts up. It's on hydraulic lifts, so it just lifts up really easily and it provides extra storage for us, but then also our freshwater tanks. We have two 40 gallon tanks on either side, so they're balanced out. So Luna is a 1999 Bluebird All-American RE, which stands for rear engine. I didn't want to be driving with an engine A in front of me or B right next to me, heating up and creating a lot of noise as we're going down the road. We try and keep between 60 and 70 miles an hour. And if we do that, we get between eight and 10 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. Choosing the color of the bus was actually one of the last decisions that we made within the renovation. I've always wanted a Volkswagen bus, so that's why we went with the classic V style in the front. So it does kind of give that semblance of an old classic Volkswagen bus. This was also another feature we wanted to find was a bus that had a midway emergency exit door so that as we're sitting on our dinette table, we can look at the view wherever we're at. So we don't have a tow vehicle. We just have two mountain bikes that we use to get around and explore when we're parked at places or in state parks. What's nice about this particular rack is since it does actually kick back, it allows me to still open up the hatch for the bus so that I can check fluids and levels of everything without actually having to remove any of the bikes off the rack. And then when I'm done, it's just a simple matter of closing it back up and now they're locked, ready to go down the road. So lastly, we do have another door and this is our second emergency exit door that's right where our bed is. So again, if we're in a beautiful space where we've got a nice view, we can lay on the bed, open it up and just enjoy a nice sunrise or sunset. I think my favorite part of bus life is all the different things that we're able to see. There are so many places in this country that we would never probably have been able to go visit as easily as we are able to with the bus. Park wherever you want, travel wherever you want. If you get sick of a certain area, you just pick up and move. Home is where you park it. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to subscribe and high five if you love pets in tiny spaces. <laughs>